Okay, the tank is full and it is now dropping through the trapezoid and going into the filtration. I do not have the biomedia in there now. I have it in the fish room with air on it, hoping to keep that bacteria alive. So I need to let these fill up to about halfway and make sure that there are no leaks anywhere and make sure that my repairs on this one work good. And once I get that half full and that starts working, I'm going to crank this system up and see if we can get her going. So I'm going to run a magnet through it, see if I can get rid of some of the air bubbles. But I really like the looks of it. I think it's pretty cool. Um, turn on the light. So yeah, it's going to be really neat when I get my fish in there. That root looks incredible. So yeah, moving forward. Okay, the system is running. Um, there's no leaks anywhere. Everything looks really good. And like I said, I don't have biomedia in there yet. And when you first turn it on, it pulls down. And you have to make sure that the level of your sump is such that when you lose electricity to the main tank, the amount of water that spills over the trapezoid and through the system into these filters will hold it so they don't overflow. And that's where you want to be. You don't want to be too full so that when your electricity goes out, the water that drains in. Now I do have check valves on the mains, but still there's going to be a certain amount from the tank that will drain down into these systems and you have to make sure you have enough room. The best way to test it is to mark it and then pull and shut the power down and let her drain and see if it holds it. So I think I'm getting pretty close to where I want to be, so I think I'm going to shut this off. Okay, it had some clearing up to do, but it's doing very, very well. I have absolutely no leaks in the filtration. It takes a long time to get rid of all the air bubbles. Um, there's quite a bit in the sand yet, but I'm not going to worry about that for now. I really like the root in there. I think it looks incredible hanging in there like that, like it's growing out of the back of that bank, that black bank. And then with my driftwoods in here, and it is a little cloudy yet, but that's to be expected. I don't have my, so you can tell it's really cloudy yet, but it'll, it'll clear up. I have my filter floss in my filters in order to start taking out particulates and settle things down a little bit. I'm not going to put the nitrifying bacteria uh, medium in there until after it is completely clear and I know it's good to go. So it's been kind of a big project. It was kind of sad. It was very sad when I lost all of my saltwater fish in here, at least most of them. But I was able to convert a 75 gallon aquarium in my fish room over to saltwater. And I have videos out on that. There'll be more coming out on it. And I think this is really going to look neat. And you just have to wait and see what I'm going to put in here for fish. It's going to be, I think it's going to be incredible. I think it's going to be really, really neat. Okay, if I did lose the nitrifying bacteria in my biomedia, because I wasn't adding ammonia or fish waste for the last month and a half, I have taken these sponge filters and put them in there. I don't need to put air on them because I'm moving a lot of water through that system. So those are loaded with bacteria and as is this one here. And these are the filters that were loaded with bacteria in the individual tanks.